Alright, so this video we're going to look at solving a system of equations using matrices. And this is going to be three equations, three unknowns. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is rewrite this system as an augmented matrix. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So write this as a matrix. So I've got 1, negative 2, 4, 1, 1, 13, negative 2, 6, negative 1. All right, so the numbers that I've written down is the coefficient of the variable. See the 1 in front of x, the negative 2 in front of y, the 4 in front of z, and then the 1 the 1 in front of y, 13 in front of z, negative 2, 6, and negative 1. And then we have the equals here. So I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to represent my equals. And then I've got the 6, and then this 6, and then the negative 10. <clears throat> All right. So now, this is, this is the easiest way to do it, I think, <clears throat> is if you look at just this part right here this three rows and three columns okay you see this main diagonal here what I want to do is all of these numbers below the main diagonal I want to turn those to zeros by using row operations alright so for row operations what all can we do? Well, we can swap any two rows. All right. We can multiply each element of a row by a non-zero constant, and we can replace a row by the sum of itself and a constant multiple of another row of the matrix. All right. So, let's look at this. So, what I usually do is I usually try to get this term here to go to zero first where the negative 2 is okay alright so by adding two rows together okay and replacing this row with whatever I get when I add them together well you can see if I do 1 plus negative 2 that does not give me zero okay and here, 1 plus negative 2, that does not give me 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2 times row 1 plus row 3. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace row 3 with that sum. Okay? So, so look at this. If I multiply each element here by 2, well, 2 times 1 is 2, and then 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So that gives me my 0. That's what I was looking for. All right, so let's look at this. <clears throat> now, the one thing to remember, the only row that changes is the one that you're replacing. So the other two rows stay the same. So I've got 1, negative 2, 4, 6. 1, 1, 13, 6. All right. All right. So let's, let's perform the operation. All right. So I've got 2 times 1 is 2 plus negative 2. Okay. 2 times 1 is 2 plus this negative 2 is 0. Okay. So this is 0. And then... I've got 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus this 6 and that's going to give me negative 4 plus 6 is 2. And then I have 2 times 4 is 8 and then this negative 1. 8 plus negative 1 is 7. All right. Then I've got 2 times 6 is 12, and then plus this negative 10, 
12 plus negative 10 is 2. All right. So there's my new matrix. All right. So I've got this to go to 0. Now I've got to get this one and this one to go to 0. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one to go to 0 Okay, before I do this one. Because look at it this way. Actually, all I would have to do, I could do what? This row plus this row, because look, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, right? But then look at this, 1 plus 0 is 1. So I would lose that 0. That's why we're going to go ahead and get this one to go to 0 first. All right, so let's see what we've got. So that's going to be row 1 plus, and then, well, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I've got to do 1 plus negative 1 times row 2. You see that? Because by multiplying this by negative 1, that's going to give me what? 1 plus negative 1. See, negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Yes, if you wanted to, you could multiply this row by negative 1. That would be fine too. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got. All right. So I'm so the row that I'm going to replace is row 2 because I'm getting a 0 here. All right. So I'm going to write the other two rows down, the first row and the third row. So that's 1, negative 2, 4, 6, 0, 2, 7, 2. All right. So let's look at this. I've got 1 plus negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. This 1 plus negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. That gives me 0. Okay. All right. Now I've got what? Row 1, which that's negative 2. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So I'm going to add them. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. All right. And then the next one. Uh, row 1, that's going to be 4. And then negative 1 times 13 is negative 13. So 4 plus negative 13 is, let's see, where are we? Negative 9. And then I have row 1, which is 6. And then negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 is 0. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now I need to get this to go to 0. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to use these two rows. Because, see, whatever I multiply here and here, well, that's going to be 0 and 0. So 0 plus 0 is just going to give me 0. So I won't lose a zero. All right. So let's see. Well, if I multiply row two by two, so two times row two plus three times row three, well, what does that do? Two times negative three is negative six. Three times two is six. Negative six plus six is zero. So that gives me my zero. All right. So let's look and see what we've got. So I'm, oh, and I'm going to replace row 3. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I'm replacing row 3. So I got, I'm going to rewrite down the first two rows. So that's 1, negative 2, 4, 6, 0, negative 3, negative 9, 0. All right. So let's try to multiply this out without writing it down. All right, so I've got 2 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. All right, 
Then I've got 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. All right. And then I've got 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. 3 times 7 is 21. Negative 18 plus 21 is 3. And then I've got 2 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. So 0 plus 6 is 6. All right. So here we go. All right. So now we're ready to solve this. So what I want to do now is rewrite this back as equations. So remember what we did. The first column, that's the numbers in front of my x. The second column is the number in front of y. And the third column is the number in front of z. And then these over here, that's, my, that's equal to my constants. All right. So if you look at this, you see how this, it's 0x, 0y, so there's no x or y here. So this just says that 3z is equal to 6. This one says that negative 3y, because there's no x, negative 3y minus 9z equals 0. And then this one is x minus 2y plus 4z equals 6. Okay, so now I can solve. Let's solve this. Let's divide everything by 3. So that's going to give me z equals 2. Okay, so now you can see I've got z. Well, I can take this and plug it into here and solve for y. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 3y minus 9 times 2 plug the 2 in for z equals 0. So that's going to be negative 3y minus 18 equals 0. Okay, then I'm going to add 18. So that's going to give me negative 3y equals 18. Divide everything by negative 3. And so that gives me y equals negative 6. So now I've got z I've got y. I can plug both of those into here and solve for x. So that's going to give me x minus 2 times negative 6 plus 4 times 2 equals 6. I plug the negative 6 in for y and the 2 in for z. And so that gives me x plus 12 plus 8 equals 6. And so x plus 20 equals 6. Subtract 20 to both sides. And that gives me x equals negative 14. And so remember, whenever you write your answer, you write it as x, y, z. It's a point. Okay. And so my solution is negative 14, negative 6, 2. And there's the answer. So check out the other videos. I've got one. I'm, I'm going to do one example where when we solve this, we get no solution. And then I'm going to also do an example where we have an infinite number of solutions. So check those out. And I hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.